The creature we found hadn't been in Lion's Arch long. We may still have time. We have to find the Watch Commander and convince him to ready the defenses. I've researched the situation extensively. The Orions will strike here, on Plor Island. Thank you for meeting with us, Watch Commander Talon. We have grave news. One of Zaitan's minions breached the city. We destroyed it, but the creature was likely scouting for a much bigger force. An attack is imminent. A what? That's extremely unlikely. We've seen no sign of an impending attack. If there was to be one, we'd know of it. By the bow, Siren. May the tree watch over you, young one. How's the Priory treating you? Firstborn, it is an honor to see you again. I'm so glad you're here. Something terrible is about to happen. Traherne, this is my dear friend. One of the kindest and most dedicated Magisters in the Priory. Magister, this is Traherne, Tyria's foremost scholar on Zaitan and Orr. He's a hero to me. Commander Talon, I can confirm their information. Zaitan's servants are indeed approaching. A fleet of dead ships has launched from the Straits of Devastation. The risen sail beneath a cloak of stealth. Whatever you've seen, it can't be a real threat. Claw Island can withstand any assault. Speak with my commanders, Brack and Mira. Once you review our defenses, you'll realize there's nothing to fear. I've heard the rumor. Undead coming in under stealth. Do you believe it? Be on alert. Probably the Orions are planning a major Orsons attack against Tor Island. Tell the Watch Commander no, Talon that I the gunnery emplacements are ready. Worse. The fortress here on Claw Island houses more 24-pounders than a ship of the line. We'll be ready to fight the Orions. Don't doubt that. Check on Deputy Mira. She's in charge of the beach patrols. The Lion Guard don't understand. This won't be a sortie. It'll be a massacre. Welcome to Beach Patrol, the most dangerous duty on Claw Island. Deputy, a massive attack is on its way from Orr. You must prepare your troops. If we fall, our last order is to light those three signal towers. We have to warn Lion's Arch if the fortress is lost. In a hundred years, they've never once been lit. We're very proud of that. Deputy Mira, sound the alarm. There are undead on the beach. If an invasion's really coming, we'll need everyone on the island to hold the line. of a fight. Traherne, I thought you said the attack would be significant. It was a feint. They're testing your defenses. More will come, and soon. Makes sense. Report to Watch Commander Talon, and tell the men to be ready. I have studied Orion creatures for 25 years, but I rarely engage in combat with them. Do you think the Commander will listen to us now? All my life, I have been drawn to all. My wild hunt is to heal the land. Even with all my research, we still know so little about defeating them. Is that all they brought? There will be more, much more. Keep watching the sea. You're a scholar, not a general, firstborn. Why should we trust you? The fortress is under attack. Ready on the wall. Hostiles incoming.
I'll stand the beaches. All in, sir. And a lot of good soldiers with them. We have to light the watchtowers. Let Lion Charge think we've lost? No, Mira. Not yet. Claw Islands would stood much worse. Get on a trebuchet. Dead ship in the harbor holds their reinforcements. Sink it! on your mind. Medic! We need a medic over here! Commander Talon, hold on! We'll be all right. Quiet, Miracle. Soldiers don't need lies. Retreat to the city. Tell the Commodore. We did all we could. By your will, Commander. I swear to you, this isn't over. Mira, the island is overwhelmed. We have to evacuate the Lion Guard and ignite the watchtowers to warn the city. No, you'll never make it to the beacon with these risen monstrosities chasing you. We'll have to fight our way back. The Lion Guard will make a stand in the courtyard while you go for the tower. God's willing, the risen will be too busy fighting us to stop you. Your bravery is commendable, Deputy Mira, but your soldiers cannot survive a protracted battle against this many undead. It's the duty of every Lion Guard to lay down our lives to protect our city. If that's what it takes, that's exactly what we'll do. We'll rally in the courtyard. You light the warning beacons. Now go! Everyone, fall back to the courtyard. Rally to me for one last stand.
Dragon's servants will never let our ships sail. If they surround the docks, they'll slaughter us, and Zaitan's forces will grow. Our soldiers are too injured to fight. They can barely walk. We can't form a defense and still get them all aboard. Someone needs to hold them off and give everyone else time to escape. No, not someone. Me. You can't win against those monsters, Siren. There are too many of them. If I can keep them busy, it's enough of a win for me. Gix always said I was an exceptional troublemaker. When you and I met, I didn't think about anything but myself. I wanted fun, excitement, risks. I didn't really care about others. In my short life, you've taught me the most important lesson. Friends will go through anything for each other. That's why I have to do this. I've always wondered what it would be like to go to the mists. It'll be a new adventure. Mira is in bad shape. 
he will have to cut a path for us. Lion guard, follow me. Hurry, to the ships! This sacrifice shall not be in vain. Magister, is it true? Siren, she, she's really dead. It's true, Gix. I'm sorry. But at least she went out bravely. Because of her sacrifice, the survivors reached Lion's Arch. I'd always hoped Siren would learn responsibility. But not like this. She was a turnip-brained, leaf-loving hero. And she will be missed. Siren's courage provided opportunity. But your bravery led us to safety, my friend. I owe you a great debt, Magister. You may not be a member of the Priory, Traherne, but you know more about the Orients than anyone in Tyria. What do you recommend? These undead are commanded by a powerful wraith. He'll remain hidden while his minions carry out the slaughter. So, we must discover the Unseen, hmm? I believe the Priory has an artifact that will aid us. An idol of Balthazar, the human god of war, murder, etc., etc. It can transform one individual. The more you kill, the more powerful you become, until your enemy can no longer hide from you. But it is risky. I'll do it. Siren was never afraid to take risks. 
She gave us a chance to protect the city, and I plan to do exactly that. Hmm. How on Tyria does this stump sorcel thing work anyway? Stand still, everyone. One wrong move and we're all shish kebabs. Stuart Gix? I don't... I don't feel so well. I told you not to move. Blast it. Well, we can manage with one less. Everyone, concentrate. There. It worked. It wasn't a doubt in my mind. Go. Unleash righteous extermination. You can't do this alone. I'll stand with you.
channeled the idol's power without turning into a ravaging, blood-crazed psychopath. Ah, I may not have mentioned that particular side effect. Well, never mind. Good job! The idol is incredibly strong. Can we use it against the vanguard at Claw Island? Sadly, no. The human god of mass murder is not a deity that likes to use the same tactic twice. The idol's no longer enchanted. Not long ago, an associate of mine, Tegwin, was trapped in awe. Since her return, she's been training Silvari to fight the Orions. We could use their help. Hmm. It's also possible that my researchers have finished their most recent project. They were modifying a sonic weapon we captured from the dredge. Those both sound like good ideas. Manpower or firepower. Give me a moment to think before I decide. Whatever you decide, I'm going with you. You need the help, and I owe it to Siren. If you need to know something, I can help. But I'll leave the commanding to the experts. The Pale Tree guides you. What's on your mind? It is an honor to see you again. Tegwin, Karis, I'm glad to see you both, but I come with urgent news. You are needed. It's all again, isn't it? You know what's happened now. After we saved our village, Karis and I felt the call to continue fighting against all. It has become our wild hunt. Proud duty. Tegwin, I'm sure you remember the mirror that washed up on the beach near the village of Anwin. I remember it. I also remember how its magic forced me into awe, and the terrors I saw in that dark land. I didn't like awe at all. It felt like Zaitan's teeth were closing around me the whole time we were there. But we're safe here, right? I'm sorry, Karis, but that's no longer true. Zaitan has attacked Lion's Arch. Claw Island has fallen, and the city may be next. Oh no! Oh, tumbling turnips! Lion's Arch? It can't be! Tegwin, you and Karis have seen the dragon's evil firsthand. We need you to be part of the Derman Priory's effort to save the city. Traherne, I want to help, but we have duties here. There's a champion of Zaitan in this swamp, and we've sworn to destroy her. Then we'll help. We'll enter the swamp with you and clear it out for good. Listen, do you hear that? It's their master, Zaitan's lieutenant. She's the one that drives these attacks. Her name is Herboza the Wretched, and she's quite creepy. Mold in your mouth creepy. Once she's defeated, the undead will scatter. Ready your weapons. That scream is getting closer.
Farewell, Herboza. May your spirit find rest in the mists. The mists, which are far from the dragon. Very, very far. Lucky Herboza, really. Thank you for aiding us. At last, I feel the abatement of my Wild Hunt's call. The danger here is over. Teguin, you and Karis have seen what Zaitan can do firsthand. We need you, and those like you, to come and fight. Ever since our first journey into Orr, Silvari from the Caledon Forest have sought us out, wanting to defeat Zaitan. You fought with them today. They're a stalwart group, and loyal. If Karis and I aid you, they'll come as well. A unit of battle-trained Silvari with experience in Orr? What more could we ask for? Thank you. We'll see you in Lion's Arch. I'm concerned. The Orions are entrenched. It will be incredibly difficult to regain Claw Island. We can't give up hope, Traherne. I haven't lost hope. In fact, I'm counting on hope to lead the way. I feel that we should ask for wisdom from the Pale Tree. If anyone knows how to defeat Zaitan, it is the Mother. Meet me at the Grove, and we'll speak with her before the battle. Hail, Mother. We seek your wisdom. Bide a while. I have much to show you both. Come to me. Let me show you the way. Mother Tree. I am sure by now you have heard of the destruction at Claw Island. Zaitan is attacking in force. The soul of Tyria mourned as her children were cut down by the beast. The land wept, and the world shuddered. My friend and I seek to right that wrong. We wish to fight Zaitan, and take back what was lost. We've come to ask your counsel. The answer is at the heart of Tyria's future. And your own. Both of you must face the darkness, become guiding stars in the night. Is it even possible to defeat Zaitan? Only with great courage. Come, I will show you a vision of your future and the challenges to come. It is time, my brave friends. Your future awaits. Even though I have been here, in truth, this vision is unsettling. Let us hurry. The Pale Tree has lessons yet to be revealed. They say that Orr was once beautiful. A nation to rival Kryta, Ascalon, and Ilona. The human gods lived in the city of Arar, and the people here were blessed. After the gods left, the humans banded into guilds and warred upon each other. The guild wars cause great devastation. Where does this road Nations, lead, Mother? To the ancient city of Ara, the dragon stronghold. That is your goal. Along the way, you will glimpse things that may yet These come These creatures to are formidable. Tougher than the ones at Claw Island. How will we defeat them? Alone, you cannot. But with unity, you will find that many impossible things can be achieved. Defenders of Tyria, when Zaitan rose from slumber, the dragon found a long-dead nation and claimed it. The dragon expected the rest of Tyria to be as easily conquered. But we live, and we breathe, and we fight. All races, all orders, and all paths of life stand against Zaitan. The dragon is a fearsome enemy. He wants nothing more than to paralyze us with doubt. But I tell you this, we are not afraid. We will never kneel. Do you feel that? The dragon hears us to Arar and victory. Is this a vision of the future? Mother, I do not understand. I'm no general. You must be what Tyria needs you to be, my son. You have more courage than you realize. Our 
heroes have fallen. They must be redeemed. You are the catalyst. You must bring them together. Heal their wounds. Where were you? We needed you. Someone was going to die no matter what I did. Snaff or my queen. I had to make a choice. You would have done the same. Any of you! If the person you loved was in danger, you would have done the same. Destiny's Edge disbanded after their loss against the Elder Dragon, Kralkatorik. To this day, they have unresolved grievances with one another. It was your responsibility. Snaff trusted you, and you failed him. I tried to keep him out of danger. I would have given anything to prevent his death. It wasn't enough. You weren't enough. You should have died, Air, instead of him. Logan was called away by his queen. Yet Air chose to fight the Elder Dragon. They lost. Glint died, along with Snaff, Soja's mentor and friend. They can't stop arguing. They can't understand that the dragons are more important. They throw everything away. I'm alone. I'm tired. Come back to me. If the world must end, let us spend our last days in each other's arms. These visions represent a possible future for Destiny's Edge, should they not resolve their quarrels. We need them to reconcile, if we're to defeat Zaitan. Where was I? Oh yes, the Guild Wars. Still angry over the loss of Ascalon, the Char struck hard while humanity fought with itself. The Char ravaged Ascalon with searing cauldrons and marched on ore. As hope failed, an Orion named Vizier Kilbron read the Lost Scrolls. This is the tomb of the Kings of Or. Walk inside and seek truth, but be warned, the future can change in the blink of an eye. To see the sky, feel once more the wind and the sun, although my nation is drowned. The slow blood still pulses in its veins. Or was once the heart of Tyria, so full of life. I was the last of a line of proud rulers. Now my nation is enslaved. What do you seek here? Or has nothing left to give, save ash and bones. We came to fight Zaitan. Can you give us counsel? Zaitan can be defeated, but that will not save Or. The land must be cleansed of this poison. Seek the source. Is Zaitan the source? Or is there some other poison that fouls ore? Please, tell us. Seek the source. Cleanse ore. Seek the source. Your last challenge on the road to Ara will be the guardian of the gate. Beyond this, I cannot foretell. Once before, I gave this sword to a beloved son. Now, I pass it on to you, Traum. Its name is Kaladgol. Bear it with honor, and the sword will never fail you. Test yourselves against the Guardian, then return to me in the grove.
To know the future, even the mere possibility, can be a great burden. I am sorry, brave heroes, that you must walk this path. Must these things come to pass, Mother? Must I take up Kalid Bolg and travel into the heart of Or? You must both take up this mantle. Traherne, your duty is to cleanse Or. Your friend shall aid you, and then face the dragon. And Claw Island? Can we retake it and save Lion's Arch? I believe so. But that will not be your first test. The dragon seeks to destroy its enemies before they can strike. I see within the dream that Zaitan's forces enter battle. Not against Lion's Arch, but at the heart of your order. My order headquarters? No. How could that be? How could Zaitan even know? Those who have been corrupted reveal everything to Zaitan. Nothing is secret, least of all those places where his enemies hide. If my friends are in danger, I have to go to them. They have no warning. They'll be slaughtered. I will go with you. Our fates are bound together, and from this day forward, we fight as one. Farewell, valiant souls. May your wild hunt be successful, and may your courage illuminate the dark of night. Look there, the pale tree was right. The Derman Priory is overwhelmed. We'll have to fight our way in. The scholars need our help. We need to gather everyone we find, build a fighting force as we head in. Good idea. Be cautious, Magister. These Orions are fueled by the dragon's hatred, and it is strong right now. Don't worry, my friend. I'll watch your back, you watch mine. We must protect the Priory at any cost. If we lose their knowledge, we could lose the war. That mega laser bolt was gigantic. Steward Gix, are you all right? I'm fine. Poor, brave scholars. Our explorers fought well, but we were no match for the Risen. More undead are coming. What can we do to defend against them? Go downstairs, to the vaults. Defend the research teams. They can help us raise an appropriate defense. Break out the emergency weapons supply. Tell them to gather every obscure invention and ready every inscrutable device. We are not giving up. Once you clear the undead out of the vaults, get back up here. My magic can only hold back the Risen for a short while. We'll hurry. Do everything you can, Steward Gix. Just give us time. If we hadn't arrived in time, the Priory would have been lost, thank the Pale Tree. The Mother Tree is very wise. I'm glad we saw her. If the Priory had fallen, we'd never be able to defend Lion's Arch. Do you remember what she said? With unity, many impossible things can be achieved. She was right. The Priory can't fight Zaitan like this. We may have the knowledge, but we lack both an army and the resources. We can't have that kind of peace-loving, low-down, poltroon talk. Did the Risen strike you on the head? We cannot give up the struggle. Steward, the other orders of Tyria share our concerns about the dragons. The Priory should contact them and divulge information on Orr. Terrible idea. The Order of Whispers are underhanded backstabbers, and those brainless warmongers in the Vigil are even worse. You're wrong, Winnet. They simply have their own ways of fighting, Zaitan. Both would be staunch allies in this war. Perhaps you're right. 
The fact that Zaitan could strike at the Priory's heart shakes me to the core. I trust you, Magister. And I trust Traherne. Go to the other orders. Set up a meeting. Tell them that the Dermond Priory respectfully wishes to negotiate terms of accord. Thank you, Stuart. I'll do everything I can. So, I see Gix stumbled out of his library, and the Preceptor crawled out of her hole. I see you're not letting rationality get in the way of your ignorance, Almora. How predictable. Who are you calling ignorant, you twitchy little bookworm? Wonderful. I see we're off to a running start. The Order of Whispers needs allies, not infants. Enough bickering, all of you. Our real enemy lurks across the waves. Zaitan's servants march at the gates of Lion's Arch. We must band together, or we will all be destroyed. When I joined my order, I swore to fight Zaitan. I will die for Tyria if I must. However, I believe that together we can win. The Vigil has shown tremendous courage in the fight against the dragons. This alliance will require courage as well. Why back down now? The Order of Whispers has seen nations rise and fall. You cannot hide from this threat. You need to make a stand. And who knows more about the dragons than the Priory? Just think of how much there is to learn. Where else but in Or? By the worlds of eternal alchemy, you're bold. But you're correct. Knowledge is useless if it is not used. We shall aid you. The Order of Whispers has worked for generations to bring nations together. We can do no less now. Our blades are yours. The Vigil fears nothing, not even ill-tempered, undisciplined louts like these two. We'll join, but I insist there's a decent hierarchy. Who will lead this compact? Logic dictates that it cannot be a member of any of our orders, lest one be seen as above the other two. Quite a conundrum. I've already considered that. Traherne, you've never joined an order, yet they all respect you. You've studied Or all your life. Will you lead us? I... I never wanted to be a soldier. I'm only a seeker of truth. But, yes, I will lead this pack to the gates of Ara, and together, we will see Zaitan destroyed. First, to Claw Island. Let us send our defiant message straight into the heart of Or. Tyria stands as one. All my life, I've watched Or, studied it, researched the abominations that Zaitan spawns. I have avoided the challenge of my wild hunt. I hid, always claiming I was not yet ready. I did not think Or could be cleansed. I feared failure, but you're right. It is time to act. We'll either cleanse the land or return to it. Marshal Traherne, sir. I'm Ifut, liaison for the Vigil Troops. The Lion Guard are clearing some road, but the inner courtyard gate is blocked. My Priory Explorers brought a Biomantic Siege Capacitor, Marshal. Our top mystics have been working on it for some time. It could be useful. I've heard of that device. Whisper's agent stole a copy of the blueprints, but we couldn't figure out your bizarre telemetry. There's a working prototype? Of course. Nothing's beyond the Priory's intelligence. Unfortunately, it's a portable model, so it lacks the power to blast through a fortified gate. What if we amplified this capacitor in some way? Clever. The signal towers use magical panels to increase brightness. If we reversed the panel's direction and adjusted the enchantment, we could amplify the beam. It's improvised off the cuff in Madcap, but you know, it just might work. Still, there are far too many undead between here and the signal tower. Leave that part to me. The Vigil may not understand your boo-boo, Matic, wheeze calculator, but we know plenty about killing undead. Then we have a plan. Commander Efoot, move out. Your Crusaders can guide the way.
Agent Saad, get that priory device up to the signal tower and get it working. We need that barricade down. Is this what I think it is? How do they compress all those angles? Come on, just plug it in. I'm on my way, Preceptor. Constellated configurer coming up. Well done. We've secured the docks. What about the courtyard, Marshal? That big dragon thing will be on us the minute we charge in there. We need to retake the ramparts and deploy siege weapons. Then we can cover the sky while we clear the courtyard. I can help there. Priory alchemists have crafted special ammunition to weaken champions like that one. We can force that monster to the ground. Once you get it down, we'll get it dead. Put your trust in Vigil Steel. I'll coordinate and command from here. Go with Winnet and we take the siege points. The plague bringer must be brought down. yourselves troops wait for the dragon to come around then make a coordinated strike on my order wait for it
and in so doing, saved Lion's Arch as well. I do not know what lies ahead of us, my friend, but for the first time, hope that this alliance can save Tyria from the dragons. Hope for the future. Hope for all. What's on your mind? This is a momentous day. The tide of history has changed to her. Indeed. Many people doubted. Even the Orders weren't truly certain it could be done. Never before has Tyria been so united. Let Orr hear the echo of this battle. We can defeat the dragons. We will. Zaitan waits at the center of Orr, surrounded by a nation of undead. The battle to destroy the dragon will not be easy, but it can be won. There is a ruined fortress at the edge of Orr, south of the Shattercleft Hills. From that high cliff, you can see the spires of Orr rising beyond the Straits of Devastation. We will take this fort and make it our own. The Pact will rebuild it. We will place our banners, and from there we will strike at the Dragon's Heart. I will make plans with the leaders of the Orders and gather troops at that location. You deserve some well-earned rest, my friend. Join me when you are ready, and together, we will find a way to slay Zaitan. Ha, 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 ha.